Over here, we have a double scales, so it is a little bit more difficult maybe, but maybe not. If you want to try it on your own, pause the video now and try it. And now let me explain how we will solve this. You have to think that all of this on this side weighs the same as all of this on this side, okay? But also, here is a scales in itself. So this side weighs the same as this. And of course, from that we can now easily solve this blue circle. Two of these weighs six. So the blue circle weighs, oh, is equal to three. And now, when we go to the other side, first let's figure out how much does this whole thing weigh here that is on the left side of the main scale. Here's six and six, so that's 12. This whole side weighs 12, and so this side also weighs 12, right? So now it's very easy. This rectangle plus five equals 12, so the rectangle is seven. Here's a double scales too, okay? Again, the same principles apply. This side, all of this weighs the same as all of these, but individually, this side weighs the same as this, okay? And then this side, the same as that. We can first concentrate on this side. You can see the unknown shape on both sides, just looking at these scales or, or balance. So I'll remove one from both sides. So we can see here's five, this side must weigh 5 now, so those two balls must weigh 4, okay? Two brown balls weighing 4, so one of them is 2, right? Let's check, 2 and 5 is 7, 2, 2, 2 and 1 is 7, okay? So that checks, and then, okay, like I told you, let's figure out the weight of this whole left side here. The 7 and 7 equals 14. So this side must also weigh 14, right? And then this bag, this bag also, they must be 7 and 7. Actually, we can only just look at this bag here to figure out the purple circle. 6 of these plus 1 makes 7. So what do you think? Yep, one purple circle is 1. I have one more. And it has numbers. You know, I was mentioning about equations. And this is basically an equation. Can you solve it? It is an unknown x, not a shape this time, but an x. But this is the same as the algebra problem of x plus 12 on this side equals 3 times 7. Now this raised dot is a multiplication sign that we use in algebra because if we used x you would think it is the same x as here so we can't use x for multiplication. But looking at the balance surely you can solve it right? 7 7 7 on that side makes 21. So this side also must be 21. So what is x? x equals 9. Yes. You see you're solving equations now. All right we're all done with this lesson.